Good morning and welcome to the vlog. Once again, uh, today I'm in Lanzarote. It's just before sunrise, it's about seven o'clock in the morning, 10 past seven. Uh, and I am on the south of the island uh, towards a place called El Golfo. Uh, and I'm taking some shots here at the moment of uh, the uh, mountains at Timon Fire National Park. So for my first shot, what I'm planning to do is uh, get this mountain range behind me. Um, I've got the uh, 70 to 200 on, so I'm going in reasonably close because there's an awful lot of foreground here. There's all these sort of boulders uh, that make up the foreground, that make up most of the landscape really here in Lanzarote. Um, so yeah, so what I'm doing is uh, I've got the 70 to 200 on, I'm pushing past that foreground and I'm just focusing really on the mountains with the nice soft early morning light on them. Uh, they're coming out of reasonably long exposures at the moment so I'm getting some movement in the clouds I think which is quite nice. Uh, and obviously uh, being me, um, I've taken a panoramic of it. So the light's really nice now over these mountains. Um, so what I've done is I've just worked on another composition where I stood on the side of the road and I've shot a panorama looking down the road as it snakes away and then around to the right to the mountains with the light over them. It's really, uh, it's really very pretty at the moment because the sun, I don't know if you can see behind me, but the sun's uh, up and it's illuminating really nicely. Uh, there's a little bank of clouds low down. so. It's, uh, it's, killing, it's killing any real sort of potential sunlight, but you're getting some really nice rays coming through there. I don't know if you can see. So I, I'm actually here to photograph, well, I'm here to photograph the mountains, but I'm also here, there's a little cove down here. It's called Los Heron Vedos, I think it's um, something similar to that. Uh, and it's, it's a really nice little seawater cove, uh, and then there's all the sea and the rocks and the, and the waves. But um, that's so good at the moment, I'm staying there. So I'm going to keep focusing on this, see if I can find some other compositions around uh, regarding this and then we'll see where we're at. I might, I might come back to the cove in a bit. So here we are now at Los Hebederos. Uh, this is kind of what I came to shoot. I came to shoot the mountains, also came to shoot this. It's basically uh, a lovely sort of, un uh, what is it? What is it? It's basically uh, a hole, <laughs> hole in a rock. <laughs> it's basically a hole in a rock uh, that's been carved out, I think, by um, either the sea, or I think it might be um, lava. I think lava has carved this out. So, so what I'm going to do here is there's some really nice um, waves and uh, uh, swells underneath the actual cave, in the, inside the hole, if you will. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is catch, capture them. Uh, I'm going to, I'm not going to go for a, like a really long exposure or. I don't, want to, I don't want to milk it out too much, but I want just enough that I can just get a nice sort of, almost like a, like a painterly feeling to the, uh, 
to the waves and the breakers underneath the cave. So I don't know, somewhere around about half a second or around that sort of exposure to get them. So that's what I'm going to shoot first and then I'll definitely just shoot the whole thing as a landscape. But I really want to focus on these little bits and I've got some nice rocks here in the foreground to give a little bit of foreground interest and yeah, it should look quite nice hopefully. So that's my first shot here. So I've framed up the shot, I've got it how I want it. There's a couple of nice little rocks in the foreground which are framing the shot and I've focused on those first off. I've taken one image of those in sharp focus which I'll use to focus stack the rest of the images. Then I'm focusing in on the cove and basically I've just got my remote shutter which I don't use very often actually but uh, I am using it today and uh, I'm just waiting for the moment when the waves crash into the cave, create some nice surf, some nice white surf on the surface and then uh, I'm hitting that shutter button and waiting until I get a nice pattern and then that'll be the image. around the cliff now a bit more so I'm facing these uh, coves more front on and you've got this fantastic mountain range now that just drops into the background the dynamic range is quite high because I've got a very bright sky with the Sun uh, and it's very dark down in the in the actual caves in these little coves here so I'm having to bracket it and also put on um, a soft grad even then, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to not clip the highlights or not lose some of the shadows, but we'll have to wait and see how it goes. But, uh, oh, it's so beautiful here, though. I, I just love this place. It's, it's, it's like nowhere else that I've ever been to. It's almost, it's almost lunar, you know? It's almost lunar in, in the landscape. There's so much dark rock and there's so many craters and, and just, it's just boulders and craters and mountains and sun and sea it's fantastic it's a fantastic place to come and uh, take photos it really really is uh, this is like literally all the photos today are within sort of 200 meters of each other so there's so much more around here as well to take but uh, yeah absolutely gorgeous place absolutely beautiful I'm about done here but before I go I'm just going to fire off a bracketed long exposure just to smooth out the water here and uh, the clouds a little bit as well. Uh, I'm shooting another panorama obviously same position a little tiny bit higher because I want a bit of separation between the foreground rocks and the cove in the background. I want a little bit more water in there which I wasn't getting not quite enough because I had the camera down slightly too low. Uh, yeah, so I'm shooting. I've got a six stop. I've got a six stop ND, gra um, ND filter in. I've also got a 0.9 soft grad in to hold the sky back a bit because again, like I said before, there is quite a bit of dynamic range here. Um, and just seeing what that looks like, basically, I've just shot another nice sweeping panorama with the mountains in the background. It is it, that that is essentially it I think for the for today that is this is probably going to be the last shot well that's about it for me from here uh, I've got all the shots that I want to get the sun's up now um, I've had a really fantastic morning. It's, it's so nice getting up nice and early and being out. Uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed it. As much as I have, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me. And as always, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, then please feel free to subscribe and comments are always welcome. So until next time, I'll see you again soon.